Peter Sutcliffe, the Yorkshire Ripper. Peter Sutcliffe was born on June 2nd, 1946, in Bingley, West Riding of Yorkshire, England. His parents, John William Sutcliffe and Kathleen Frances Nay Conan, were a working-class Catholic family. Though his childhood seemed pretty normal, during his teen years, he developed a fetish for voyeurism, watching men seek prostitutes, as well as spying the prostitutes themselves. At the age of 15, Sutcliffe left school and began working very low-end jobs, including being a gravedigger, working on a packing line, and being a driver for a tire firm. In 1946, he met future wife Sonia Surma, and then wedded in 1974. She would suffer many miscarriages, and would later be told that they could never conceive. His attacks started as early as 1969, at the age of 23, when he assaulted a prostitute who conned him out of his money. He followed the woman into a garage and hit her in the head with a rock inside a sock. He described the incident to his friend, saying the force of the hit was so hard it tore a hole in the sock and everything inside it came spilling out. It would be 12 years that he continued his tirade, eluding the police many times along the way. He killed 13 women total. January 2nd, 1981. Police pull over Sutcliffe with 24-year-old prostitute Olivia Rivers. Police found that the license plates were false, and Sutcliffe was arrested and taken to Dewsbury Police Station in West Yorkshire. While there, police questioned him about the Yorkshire Ripper on the suspicion that his physical features matched many of the traits described by the surviving victims. When police returned to where Sutcliffe was arrested, they found a discarded knife, rope, and a hammer that he threw away when he told the police that he was bursting for a pee. A knife was also discovered in a toilet cistern at the police station when he was allowed to use the restroom. They obtained a search warrant for his house in Bradford and detained his wife for questioning. Two days later, on January 4th, 1981, Peter Sutcliffe admitted to being the Yorkshire Ripper, claiming God had told him to murder those 13 women. On his trial, though, he pleaded not guilty on murder, however, pleading guilty to manslaughter due to diminished responsibility. He later pled guilty to seven counts of attempted murder, and the prosecution nearly accepted Sutcliffe's plea deal when psychiatrists diagnosed him with paranoid schizophrenia but the trial judge demanded a detailed explanation of their reasoning. After a lunch break and a long discussion, the diminished responsibility plea was rejected, and a true trial would be held four months later. On May 5th, 1981, Sutcliffe was found guilty of all charges against him and sentenced to life in prison. Sutcliffe spent three years in prison until one day in 1984, he was attacked by fellow inmate James Costello. Costello followed Sutcliffe to the hospital wing of the prison and stuck a broken coffee jar into Sutcliffe's face. It caused four wounds, needing 30 stitches. He was then sent to Broadmoor Hospital. In 1997, another inmate stabbed Sutcliffe in the eye in an attempt to kill him. Instead, Sutcliffe only lost vision in his left eye. In 2009, Sutcliffe was considered fit to leave Broadmoor, and many times he appealed. They were all rejected, and he would spend the rest of his life in Broadmoor Hospital, where he remains to this day.